This is 2014 BMW 1 Series with N47 engine. Customer experienced a rough idle with massive noise and sudden loss of power while driving. The car would crank but won't start and brought to the shop. Let's connect G-Scan 3 to scan if the car has stored any trouble codes. Select BMW. Automatic selection. G-Scan 3 quickly scans the vehicle information. This 118D belongs to F20 chassis. Hit OK. Let's do Sport Charge Mode System Search. G-Scan 3 quickly scans all available system first. I'm sure some of you already noticed that the speed of our system search for BMW is blazingly fast now. We also modified and upgraded other software as well. So go ahead, update your software to enjoy the latest version of it. Red circle with exclamation mark represents the system has stored trouble codes. Let's see what they are by hitting the read DTC button. Once the scan is completed, the number of DTC will be displayed in the red circle. The green circle with zero means the system does not have any DTCs. Hitting the red button will display description of the DTC. This one has no signal from camshaft sensor. Hitting the name of individual system will allow us to communicate with the system. Let's read the code. If your G-Scan 3 is connected to internet, pressing glass icon at the end of the DTC will do the automatic search in Google. After a quick research, we were able to find many cases on N47 engine with no start issue and timing chain problems. If a faulty timing chain is the case, as a first step, we can quickly check the synchronization status between crankshaft position sensor and camshaft position sensor. To help understanding, we prepared a few simple drawings with explanation. Please be aware that drawings you are going to watch in this video is oversimplified for explaining purpose and they do not represent BMW's timing chain mechanism. Here's the side of the N47 engine. Camshaft, fuel pump, and crankshaft are connected to the timing chain like this. If the timing chain is normal, we would see the leading edge of camshaft position sensor lines up with the first tooth of crankshaft position sensor's missing tooth. Also, the trailing edge of camshaft position sensor would line up in the center of crankshaft position sensor's missing tooth. If the timing chain is stretched or loose, we would see both edge of camshaft position sensor does not line up with the crankshaft position sensor's tooth region. We can hook up oscilloscope to compare the actual waveforms, but G-Scan 3 can be a quick way to judge whether they are synchronized or not. Let's go to special function, crankshaft sensor and camshaft sensor. Select F1 to read out the status. Select OK. Let's crank the engine to see the status. As you can see, the status changes between 3 and 4 as we are cranking. The video on right is taken from BMW 5 series that has no engine problem. As you can see, the status is showing status 3 only. If you've seen status other than 3, there could be a connection problem between sensors, or sensor could be defective itself, or tooth on the cam or crankshaft wheel could be defective. You can hook up the oscilloscope to conclude your judgment. That's it for this video. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.